All right, everybody, just a quick video today. I'm out here uh, cleaning up the Rebel, uh, getting it prepped for riding season. I spent about six months in jail over at the warehouse and uh, gave it a bath today. And I'm gonna replace my original Kaufman's Shorty exhaust uh, with one that they sent me uh, just recently, late last year, uh, the uh, Thunder with the new laser engraved uh, blacked out logo on there, pretty slick. Uh, anyway, so this is going to be a short video here. I'm going to undo the clamp, drill out the rivet, uh, set rivet that's in there, and uh, clean off the you know the end of the mid pipe. And bolting this thing on is just a you know, maybe a five minute thing. Once I get it all cleaned up, just slide that down on there. Put the uh, black clamp on. Where's the black clamp? The uh, the new ones are all shipping with these uh, blacked out uh, stainless powder coated clamps. Pretty slick. Uh, so I'll put that facing you know, inside, upside down like that so the uh, silver screw doesn't show. Get in here and undo the old clamp. This one has been on and off of the bike twice. Uh, I pulled this off of there a while back when I prototyped uh, the first generation Thunder on here. You can uh, click the link in the video to see that install. Uh, this new one is a slightly different bend, but basically the same. Okay, pull this back, and then, if you'll be able to see or not, let's see if I can get you in the, in the action there. This is the uh, little set rivet. So I've got to drill that guy out, and uh, then the thunder goes over that and covers the hole completely and it does not need a set rivet because it's located up here by the uh, the original exhaust hanger uh, and that flange right there stage one try not to drill the hole too much larger in the uh, mid pipe there it's already been in and out of there a couple times Starting to get kind of big. There we go. <laughs> there she goes. Slide that off of there. Get it off. And uh, yeah, there we go. Now, uh, the reason that I'm replacing this, one, because uh, Kaufman sent me that nice new Thunder. Aw. Um, and this one has gotten old enough and has seen of uh, high heat abuse that the baffle is starting to wiggle and I don't know if you can hear me over the wind but hear that so there are a couple of o-rings uh, that are in front of and behind this uh, baffle and they eventually give up uh, so a rebuild kit is cheap I don't know what they cost but you basically pop out this uh, circlip right here pull the baffle out put new o-rings in put it back together but uh, I told them about that and they said, well, why don't we just send you one of the new Thunders? I said, um, let me think about that for a second. Okay. <laughs> no waiting. So, this guy, as I remember, is a very tight fit. Uh, so I'm going to have to wiggle that down on there. Uh, the first one that I test fitted, I had to twist and wrangle forever to get it to seat all the way flush against this flange. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get you in close and let you see the... Uh, uh, there, if it'll focus, focus. There's the uh, little locating hole that I drilled uh, and drilled out twice now, so it's getting a little bigger. Anyway, it's going to be covered up by that uh, other flange, and uh, eh, I could clean it off, but no big deal. Anyway, so this didn't want to seat easily all the way flush down to that. Uh, flange ring right there but I managed to get it on there and the tolerances were just absolutely perfect the hole up here lined up exact uh, I didn't have to do any you know test wiggling or anything the bolt just went straight in so uh, they've made it quite well it's very tight and that aids in a good tight exhaust seal so I'm not going to complain yeah I almost forgot to show what I'm doing uh, you just pull the original uh, foot peg bracket out of there if your bike isn't equipped with passenger pegs then you don't have this anyway uh, but the uh, OEM exhaust had this spacer in there, uh, two collars butted up against each other and uh, rubber dampers and all that. So I just disassembled that 
damper assembly and I'm using that as a spacer off of this long passenger peg to take up that slack. So anyway, pull this thing loose and uh, get the exhaust situated and then put this all back together once it's in there. So I've got my clamp situated to where the bolt is going to be facing down. It's inside so that's a nice clean finish uh, on the outward side of the bike. Put this behind the foot peg bracket and keep it a wiggle. And it's tight, let me tell you, it's tight. They draw these things, uh, flange them out, and they are just exactly the head pipe diameter, this mid pipe diameter. So getting them on there takes a little finagling. I'll get it situated eventually. Okay. With a fair amount of uh, finagling and uh, cursing, I got it on there. <laughs> it was the same story as last time. I had to really wiggle and twist, and there's not a lot of clearance to twist because you end up against the swing arm and behind this uh, uh, hanger bracket here, so there's not a lot of room to maneuver. But anyway, I got it in there. It's seated all the way flush against the uh, flange down here on the bottom. Uh, so now I'm putting the uh, foot peg and hanger and everything back together. Tighten that up. Righty tighty, 13 millimeter socket. And the only thing that's going to show from the outside of the bike is the, just the uh, turnbuckle thingy here, and that's stainless steel. Should start getting some tension. There it goes. Crunchy, crunchy. Get it good and tight. That's it right there. Get good positive tension. And that's that. And I'm pleased to report that the new bend on the uh, Kaufman's Thunder goes straight back so it doesn't have any clearance problems with uh, the larger factory bag from Honda with this is the left side and uh, I've got two of the left side the large bags so uh, it fits just fine uh, the aim is straight along the swing arm axis here uh, for the exhaust so it doesn't uh, blow into the bottom of the bag so awesome anybody that wants a uh, longer or symmetric saddlebags on your Rebel 1100, uh, the Kaufman's Thunder is still a great fit. All right, there we go. I'm not using my uh, good camera or audio gear today, it's just on the cell phone, but there we go. She's singing. Let it warm up, cool down, and I'm going to retighten the clamp down there, make sure it's uh, all good to go. Oh, she's cold-blooded because she's been sitting for the winter. I just washed the bike earlier. Look at all the uh, the pollen already settling on everything out here. Oh, windy today. Uh, I'm going to pull apart the... Uh, master cylinder here, uh, drain and uh, flush out my brakes because my front lever is getting a, a little squishier than I like. Uh, I notice it firms up after a couple of pulls, so I got a little bit of condensation or uh, air bubbles or something in there, so I'm going to bleed out the brakes today. That's why my mount is uh, sitting all wonky. So anyway, getting it ready. Tomorrow I'll take it over and refresh the inspection uh, so I can get a new tag on it because I'm a bad, bad boy. <laughs> That's old, man. It's two years out of date now. So, anyway, welcome to the fun. Getting ready for riding season. <laughs>